Okay, so I'm going to uh, show you how to feed the bloodworm and joker now. Uh, very, very simple. There's two ways I like to feed it. The first one I'm going to show you is um, in soil. Basically, all I've got there is uh, some Tierra Rivier. That's, uh, for those that don't know, it's like a sort of a heavy river type lean. Uh, it's, ba it's basically just soil though. And all I've done with that is I've sieve, sieved it off for a flower sieve, so it's nice and fine. And as you can see from that, it's, it just works better when you're feeding it with bloodworm joke. It helps to separate it out better. So for my short line, you don't need loads of bait. So I'm going to go two of them. So measure it out with a pot. You know it's going to be the same every time. You know, you can take the same thing to different venues. Now... Because short, I'm looking to catch a burst of fish um, at the start and it'll probably fade out as the, as the session progresses and as the match goes on. So what I'm going to do is feed, say, there's probably, you can see that in there, that's probably around about 75 mil a joker. It's not a lot. That'll go into there like that. It's in a biggish tub so I can separate it round easy like this you can do it in a bucket or you know whatever you choose but just make sure you've got enough space to be able to to work the mix properly now all i'm going to add to that is just a tiny little bit of gray lean that's just to help to bind it and what you'll get in a moment when you add the water to it is you will get it might look like a stodgy mess, but I can absolutely assure you it works perfectly. And it's all about just getting your bait to the bottom. It's basically, all this is, is a carrier for your bait to get to the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is just shake it and keep adding water to it. So give it a shake. Like that. And you can already see it's starting to change colour. So... When it just starts to lump up like that, it's about getting there. And if you do, if you just add a tiny, tiny sprinkle, a grey lean to that now, it looks a right mess, like I said it would. Tiny bit more water on that. Okay, so don't know if you can pick that out properly, but that's what you've got. Um, very good for perch. You will catch roach ever if there's any in your peg. And what I can do with that, I can just mold it into a ball. It will take a very long time. Well, not a very long time, but it will take longer to break down when it's like that. You can also, if you want, and if you want to create a little bit more attraction, so what I tend to do is I'll, I'll feed one like that, nice and tight. And then I just get another one and just hardly squeeze it together. So it'll go down, but bits break up off it and it, it sort of, you know, releases the joker sooner. So that's number one. That's your short line. Dead easy. It looks a mess, but it works. So for my next line, um, where I'm predominantly going to be targeting better quality fish, so roach, bigger, slightly bigger perch, maybe even a skimmer or two. Um, the mix is even simpler, really. Um, all I do, so you've got some nice fresh joker here, look. Uh, this is Russian joker. I decide at the start, you know, when I'm setting up, how much I want to feed over my two lines. So they're a good distance apart, but I like to switch between the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about 350 mil a joker-ish. Or roundabout. You know, you can, you can do the whole lot up if you want to, if, if, you're on a, if you think you're in a particularly good area. But I know today it's quite cold. It's, you know, probably going to not be getting loads of bites, but hopefully we will. Um, so that's the joker gone in there. 
I like to feed a little bit of bloodworm as well. So I just get, I get a couple of match packs um, and it, it keeps for ages if you just keep it in water as well. So that'll go in there too. Because there's some better quality fish about. We'll get a small sprinkling of casters in there. Some uh, lovely old ones there. Mix a bit of that up, like that. And then, that in there is just grey lime. So it's this normal grey lime with some black dye added to it. Okay, and all I do with it is I pour it on top of the joker because what you want is you want it to separate like that, look. Okay, so once I've added me uh, blackened off grey lean to that, just a light dusting of it, don't need a lot. Again, atomizer, little spray. And in a nice, you know, biggish sort of bucket, we can start to work this together. Just a quick couple of sprays. You don't you don't need loads loads of water really. What you're looking for it to do is to sort of tack together like that lot just wants a tiny bit more as long as you don't over over wet it it'll be absolutely fine I mean that now nah, is perfect because what I can do with that is form a nice ball that'll sink through the surface of the water and then it as it's on its way down, it will start to disperse a little bit and it will create a nice bed on the bottom of the canal. Um, you know, I can top up with little bits throughout the day. You know, we might be topping up with tiny small pieces like that, which will again, it will just go quickly through the water column and feeding it virtually raw is one of the best ways to catch on any shallow canal. Um, you can put this in straight out the paper like that, you know, but I wouldn't advise doing so because some of the joker can actually like float. It won't go through the surface film of the water properly. So if you just put a little bit of grey to it, atomise it up, a few bloodworm, few casters, it's, you've got a perfect, you know, natural food that the fish love.